This already out? Uh, yeah, all of them are out except for that one near and the one up front. Lip. There you go. Okay, you got it? I got it. All right, now I'm going to pop this. Hey, hey TJ, <laughs> it sounds pretty good, man. Yeah, the, the... And in order for us to put the lip back in the car, we're going to have to take this apart. Or, 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 there's a dumpster right there. We, we could toss it right in there. What's going on everybody? Mike here, AX Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Some of you guys been asking for 11 gen Honda Civic SI and guess what? We have one right over here and we have a bunch of upgrades to show you. Let's take a look right over there at that table. <laughs> All right, TJ, so what do we have here? All right, we have a full PRL performance package upgrade here. Uh, so previously on, uh, you know, another time this car was in the shop, we ended up putting in the PRL intercooler already. So that's already on the car. And now we have everything else laid out on the table. So uh, we are gonna get to installing all these things here. Uh, we're gonna start over here on le my left. We have the PRL uh, Ram Air intake. And um, to the right next to it, we have our two-step performance catted downpipe and uh, the two-step performance titanium hardware to uh, accompany the downpipe. Then we are moving on to the billet PRL lower engine mount, which is very nice. It keeps the motor from rocking. Um, over here, we have the PRL titanium inlet turbo inlet pipe. Uh, to, to the next to that is the PRL front um, exhaust pipe or front mid pipe. And then we have the PRL cat back N1 exhaust here which is also, we got this nice piece uh, from Honda where it will block off that second um, exhaust on the, on the bumper. So that way it only looks like we have one exhaust. We are gonna get started here and I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this car in the air and disassemble the whole thing. We'll take the splash shield down, we'll get the exhaust out, uh, we'll get the downpipe out, we'll get the, the inlet out, we'll get the uh, intake out and then we'll start building it back up similar to how we did with my car. And here we have the vehicle up in the air. As you can see, the exhaust system very similar to the Integra A-Spec or just the 1.5 turbo version of it. Uh, dual muffler system. 
Uh, the one we have right there's PRL system is a single muffler system. And what TJ's mentioned is this opening right over here. We have a cover that covers that. And uh, go come on along the front here. We have a resonator and the pipe, I think TJ mentioned that is sort of like an oval shape. Now up in the front here, we got the splash shield that covered up the front pipe and also the down pipe. And uh, TJ is gonna be in the process of removing this entire splash shield, probably holding down by like 64 clips <laughs> and, uh, and about three screws. So yeah, so we're gonna take down the splash shield and uh, we'll bring the car back down. We'll work from the very top and then we'll work our way back to the bottom here. I got one more up here. Yeah. Now with the splash shield out of the way, now we expose to the downpipe and also the front pipe right over here. Next up, what's next, TJ? Uh, we're gonna take the cap back off and the mid pipe off, and then we'll work our way to the downpipe and the uh, intake up there. As TJ working on the stock intake system, that's the first thing we'll be doing, removing that. Then we move on to the turbo inlet, and then finally the downpipe right over here. Turbo inlet's out of the way, nicks up. We got a downpipe, disconnect the air fuel ratio sensor. We could have to disconnect the secondary O2 right over here. Take off the shield, a couple of fastener, and then we'll start from the bottom. So here's the fun part. Pray for us, guys. Ooh. You know, it's always the stud, huh? Yeah. All right, so uh, we got lucky up top there with the studs on the, on the downpipe. So now we're just gonna work on the bottom here, take off the, the, mid, the uh, mid pipe from the bottom of the downpipe. We can pull that down, then we can pull the mid pipe out and we'll get the cap back out. And then while we have all that down, we can go ahead and swap out that billet mount down here on the bottom.
<laughs> this already out? Uh, yeah, all of them are out except for that one near and the one up front. Lip. There you go. Okay, you got it. I got it. All right now, I'm gonna pop this. All right, we're good. Yep. The entire exhaust system is out of the way. TJ, what's next? Uh, we're gonna pop in that PRL billet mount, and let's go ahead and start assembling this exhaust back. I think can... we start with a downpipe and then work the way down, or the opposite. Yeah, let's start with the downpipe and the midpipe. That way we can build the, uh, the cap act because it's kind of a slip-on style. So we kind of got to put it on, set it up, twist it a little bit, and, and we, before we clamp it all down. And it's not so many, I already know how, what size it is. That's an interesting point, how you have all 10 millimeter, except you have just one twelve. Right? That makes no <laughs> sense. <laughs> oh, there you go. See. All right, so we got the front pipe on, and now we're gonna move on to the exhaust. And uh, first we have to install this adapter piece. The side goes on to the, um, to the mid pipe, and then our, essentially, I guess our cat back will be able to bolt right up to this. And then we can build it. There you go. Okay. 
Yeah, so we got the exhaust on and uh, we made quite a bit of adjustment making sure that actually center to the exhaust outlet right over here. Uh, TJ is using some glass cleaner, getting all the, uh, the oil and grease out of the muffler and also the piping here. Looks really good. Full exhaust system, two-step performance down pipe and uh, PRL front pipe and uh, three-inch single exhaust system. Looks really nice. All right, guys, so we're back in the shop last night. We finished off with the exhaust. It looks really, really good now. We're going to finish off the exhaust system with this cover right over here. Um, I, I was looking at it wrong earlier. I thought, I'm like, dude, we got the same exact cover. <laughs> but uh, if you look up here, it looks something like this. So uh, well, what do you got to do, TJ? I got two clips and one screw, and it should be able to pop right off. Yeah, let's do it. There you go. Let me see. What, what was holding it? These tabs These little here? tabs. Oh, all right. And so a new one just sort of pop right back up. Yep. Wow. Prop by right in. We'll go ahead and put a link down in the description for this piece here just in case you need it. It's a factory OEM piece. I think it's like $15 or something. Okay, so titanium turbo inlets installed, mix up. We're gonna go ahead and work on the intake system. Come on, TJ. There you go. Okay, so we got everything put back together. Got the open intake here from PRL along with the titanium turbo inlet. We got the downpipe, the front pipe, the full N1 exhaust. We got everything. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do a quick start up here. Hey, 
TJ. It sounds pretty good, man. Yeah, the the N1 uh, cat pack sounds really good on this thing. Yeah. You know, I was looking at the exhaust, TJ. It does have a really nice size resonator toward the center part of the exhaust system. Yeah, that's probably why it's not so crazy loud. Yeah. Everything else pretty much all done here, but we do have to put a special back together. But before we do that, we got a few more things to finish up up in the front. And this is where we're going to have to take out the front bumper because the owner got a new grill. Uh, so we replaced this grill a little while ago. I guess it's like a CTR style grill. Uh, at the same time, we did the PRL in the cooler. I think he got another one with a different finish along with a front lip. So we will go ahead and try to put that on. And then once we got all that buttoned up, all we have is just the engine splash shell. And uh, we'll take it for a road test and see how she behave on the road. Okay, so this is the grill that the customer provide for us. So let me see it. <laughs> What's going on here, huh? <laughs> okay, so we got everything else opened up here. We got this lower grill. <coughs> and hopefully it will straighten back out once we put it back together. All right, so we got this front lip that um, is three pieces. Apparently it shouldn't have to drill any holes. We were told that it's supposed to be both on, and we also were told that we can use our best judgment if we like it or not. You know, what you're told and what you see is a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, that's supposed to just snap on right there. Well, let's see how that look, huh? We never let's tried see. that before. Maybe we should put some Japanese screws in here. <laughs> and the very last piece here, we have this sort of like a snorkel for the intake and um, a big mouth intake. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. And to install this lower grill here, we're gonna to have to remove the front bumper cover here. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. This was the aftermarket CTR style glow grill. And uh, well, this one actually a lot more sturdier than that one. Yeah. Feel it? Feel this. Oh yeah. And here's the inner cooler that we installed a few weeks ago from PRL. Look really nice, pair up with all the PRL goodies up here and also down the bottom. Hey TJ, so where does this go? This little snorkel looking thing here. Um, it kind of goes like behind this thing here, kind of like in this area. Got to pop all the, this rubber uh, deflector thing off and uh, we're gonna install it on here and then we can put this back on. Oh. Yeah. So, you know, we can put the air right into the filter. So we just stick it out the hood. <laughs> we gotta make a cut into the hood there. And oh, it's like a, oh, it's, it's like a um, off-road snorkel. Yeah, it's like a big mouth. <laughs> Okay, so the aftermarket snorkel is all finished up here. And last time, we're gonna put on this bumper. Hopefully, TJ doesn't screw this up. <laughs> oh, we gotta get fitted under the bottom there. Yep.
All right. We got our big mouth snorkel right here. You can see <laughs> big the, mouth snorkel. The big mouth, boy. You can see the, the red around a ring around it. And it actually directs the airflow right up to this, like directly right into where the factory um, air box would have been. And kind of push air through here. Mm-hmm. Oh, pretty cool. Here. Not bad. Now what you do is make a, a U shape PVC type of thing here direct the right into the filter. Okay, so next up we got the lip. It should line up to the factory hole for the clip. All around. Okay, so the last item is the engine splash shield, and along with the 64 clips. <laughs> slide that in there, slide in front, there you go. And with that last cruise for a splash show, we are all finished up here. Let's go ahead and get the car down and let's go for a test ride and see how she sounds. So we just pulled out of the shop on a test drive, literally just came around the block and guess what? The lip came loose. So don't buy these off market lips. I don't know what brand they are, but uh, we're actually going to take off the rest of the lip and remove it so it doesn't scrape the bumper and damage anything else and uh, hopefully continue with our test drive. And in order for us to put the lift back in the car, we're gonna to have to take this apart. Or, 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 there's a dumpster right there. We, we could toss it right in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back on the road. And the car's nice and warmed up already too, so. Um, but well, first off, my thought on the exhaust, that just sounds really good. It's not too loud. Uh, one thing I do want to do is uh, cruise at highway speed to see if uh, this exhaust actually has a drone. Uh, TJ, do you mind putting a seatbelt? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so all the seatbelts are fastened. <laughs> now we go for a <laughs> test drive. gonna pull out in front of me okay that works too not bad not bad can go ahead and roll up the window so I'm cruising about 51 52 miles per hour I don't know about you guys, but I think TJ is going to have a hard time keeping up with this. Oh, you just put it on sport. Yeah, you were in in sport mode, so. Oh, is it? Okay, I'm not familiar with this. So individual, sport, and normal. Okay, so. All right, not bad. All right, let's see how, let's see how it really feels. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're up in the highway now. We're cruising about 65, 70. I'm on fifth gear right now. I'm going about, I don't know, we had about 3,300 RPM. Quiet. Not bad, right? Yeah. 
quiet for an exhaust. Yeah. Okay. Six. So we have about 2,800 RPM right now, 70 miles per hour. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I like it. It's not much drone. Fifth gear again, now I'm at about 3,600 RPM, 75 miles per hour. It seems like the higher the RPM, it, it's not as loud. Exactly. Like, right after 3,500, it actually quiets down, which is good. So now I'm at about, what, 37, 3,800 RPM, fifth gear, 80 miles an hour, sixth gear. So now I'm back down to about 3,300 RPM right now. It's not bad. I like it. guys so we took a quick ride over here to STP let's go ahead and strap the car down on the dyno and see what this car does Alright guys, so so far I've got a couple of pulls and uh, 217 and 209 foot pound of torque yeah. so far. Uh, the car is pretty hot right now, so what we're doing right now is letting the car cool off. See the big fan there and then we'll do another couple of pulls and see what the final numbers are. And Ron, what is your expectation on all of this here? Um, we're actually uh, above expectation. I wanted to be about 215, you know, with bolts on. The car is, has no tune on it or nothing. You know, so I'm already pretty happy with what it is. But if we could touch that 220 mark, that'd be perfect. I think exactly what we'll be doing. And, and to be quite honest, my initial expectation is about 225. So we'll see how that goes. If it's 217, uh, he's happy. He's the owner. So I think that's all that matters. Guys, so the final result is 218 and 210 foot pounds of torque. So, uh, well, it's a little off from my number, which is about 225, right. but a little bit higher than your expectation. Yeah, I was at, I was at 215, you know, um, and the fact that we're at 218, uh, I, like, I love the torque at 210. Remember, this is all bolt on, no tune. Uh, so I'm completely satisfied, you know. Well, and with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this content here. Uh, give a big shout out to Two Step Performance and also PRL, getting all the stuff together for us. And also, I want to give a shout out to Ron, give us the opportunity to put all the good stuff together. Guys, my name is Mike, and I got Ron right next to me. Thanks again for watching. We hope to see you guys again next week.